Hello everyone. Uh, I just wanted to make a video today. I'm going to be a one verse in the New Testament and one verse in the Old Testament. I'm going to be in Matthew 5, 6. Then I'm going to turn over to Amos 8, 11, I believe it is. In Matthew 5, 6, it said, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. And Amos 8, 11 says, Behold the days... Come, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but hearing of the words of the Lord. I uh, woke up this morning and uh, early in the morning, I had this on my mind, and I wanted to try to bring it to you the best I could. Um, I, I know that if I, my wife has prepared a good meal, and I'm coming home and I don't know that she's got that meal uh, cooked and maybe she went off somewhere that day and I think, didn't think she'd be back to have anything, uh, you know, big. So I uh, stop off at the store and I get me a candy bar and uh, chips and a Coke or Pepsi, or a drink. And uh, when I get home, I'm not going to, uh, be as hungry as I would have if I hadn't got, ate that, uh, that that stuff. And so it, we're, what's happening to us today, the reason we're not hungry, I think, a lot of times, is we're filling up on junk. As I mentioned in other sermons, uh, this is not an original idea. I don't have very much original. Um, I, I picked it up from somebody, either my mother or daddy or teachers or, or someone somewhere at the job or or wherever. So I don't have very much original and I don't think anybody else does either. And I got this from a man and I heard him preach this years ago on a radio program near my home in Hazel Green, Alabama. And I don't know if if it's uh, proper or whatever. I'm, I'm kind of ignorant in some of these things about these videos and books and whatever. But his name was Joel Carwile. And uh, he he said that I don't, years ago. I never forgot it. I've used it. If he's watching this, if he was to for some reason uh, be watching this, I want him to know that I uh, I've used it. Uh, I always uh, try to footnote, but uh, but filling up on junk. Uh, how true we we got uh, uh, we have people that that's. Uh, this terminal. My brother was terminal with cancer. He passed away uh, last August, 2019, and he uh, he didn't have an appetite very much. He, a little bit at times, but not much. We had a couple of, a couple at our church. They both had cancer, and they had had chemo, and they didn't have much of an appetite. And uh, you know, it's uh, my dad. Um, he was at a, uh, some kind of a care facility, and my mother was wanting to feed him. She she thought he needed to eat, so she was forcing it to him like a, a little baby. And the nurse, it was a male nurse, he says, could I speak to you? And I said, yeah. He said, your mother is trying to feed your dad, and he don't want it. And I said, yes, sir, I know that. And this is what he said. I'm not saying it's true or accurate. I'm just saying what he said. He said, his body does not want that. And when she forces that down his throat, his body has got to figure out what to do with it. His tissues, they don't want it. They want to reject it. And so uh, I know that there's people that don't want to eat. It's a very sad condition. When a man or woman or anyone has lost their appetite, it's, it's so so sad to me. Uh, I see them at church. Uh, they, they, don't want to, uh, they don't want to eat the word of God. Uh, they're not interested. They're not hungry. Uh, we don't. We have stained glass windows in our church, but if you could see out the windows like they used to in the olden times, they'd be looking at airplanes or birds, or uh, they're fiddling with a song book or a baby, or their mind is on everything but what's happening. And uh, I, I don't want to be just a, 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 a an observer. I want to participate in this thing, and I want you to. And uh, you can't go along without food. Naturally, you can't. 
Uh, Jesus fasted 40 days. Elijah fasted 40 days. And I mentioned it on another video, but it wasn't exactly all about this topic. Uh, but a man named Bobby Sands over in Ireland or somewhere, he went 56 days and they buried him. And he was just a pile of bones. And you got to have food and, and drink. It said hunger, thirst after hunger and thirst after righteousness. Um, we need, we need, to, and if you fill up on junk, uh, and it's especially tempting during these days of the coronavirus, uh, you know, just to, to, to like, like looking at the bird out the window at church, it's, it's tempting to get your Bible and then you think, oh, I think I'll watch this. I think I'll look into this. And the next thing you know, an hour or two later, Satan has captured your mind and you haven't uh, got your mind on where it needs to be. If I asked my wife uh, if she told me she was going to cook some chickens and she wanted me to invite some people, a pretty good many, and and I've gone down through the list and I thought, well, she's got chickens and this person's a vegetarian. He's probably not going to want that. And uh, and I'd want you to be hungry when you came. Um, I don't want you. I don't want to invite you if you're not hungry. That's not your item. That's not your uh, delight. Uh, and I've mentioned that before. When I come in, and and my wife's got something on the stove cooking, and she can cook. Uh, the first thing I probably can do is I smell it when I hit the door. I'm not. I'm not full yet. Uh, I go in, I might can see it on the stove. It's, it gives me a good feeling, but I'm not full yet. I might can hear the potatoes popping in a pan, but I'm not full yet. I could go over there and reach and get one of those potatoes in my finger with my fingers. I'm still not full yet. Only till I sit down at that table and start raking it in do I get the full benefits from it. So that's the same with the Word of God. You can sit and look at it, and uh, you can... Uh, and I'm, uh, I've been a little while on this video already. I'm going to go a little while longer. Don't don't uh, opt out of it if you can. If you can stay with me, I sure would appreciate it. So, uh, And if we did invite people, going back to the chickens, and we invited a, a, a church full of them, and only a few came, I would, uh, I would still feed them. I wouldn't say, oh, well, look, we only had... I invited 400 people and only uh, 20 came. I wouldn't say that we're calling the, the meal off. No, I would go ahead and feed you. <clears throat> and I thought about Brother Paul Simmons that used to be the song leader when I first started out in the way. Uh, it didn't matter to him. It didn't seem like if there was uh, 10 people there or 500 people there or six or 600, he sung the same way. That's the way I believe it. Uh, I'm trying to do this. Just like at this room, I'm the only one in this room right now. Just like if this, if I was in an auditorium and it was packed out, I'm trying to do no different. Except maybe the Spirit of God is not helping me as much as it would be if we was in the church. Um, I, I, I know that I, I, I see people, I, I'm standing at the pulpit. There's people behind me and on the sides and they're out in the audience at our church. And people uh, that's behind might think, because my mind, my head is down in that book, that I don't know what they're doing, but uh, I, I, I'm keeping up with people. And I know, uh, you know, like in school, uh, I mentioned this before, but we'd go and the teacher would call our name and we'd either say here or present. I always said here. I, that meant my body was there. It did not indicate to her if my mind had showed up or not. And we need to keep our the whole thing, our whole being in this. Uh, filling up on junk. Uh, how much we do that. We fill up on so much on junk. And I wanna I wanna reserve for this good stuff right here. Uh, and I think uh if I said something about opting out of this thing. You do what you want to do. This is for you anyway. But it's like, uh, I think it's like, uh, my I've mentioned this before, my wife's got a bird feeder. 
and we fill that thing up. I don't have to go out there and say, birds, now I just got y'all some fresh. I fill this thing up. They will find it. If you're hungry, I won't have to advertise too much. Uh, if you're hungry, you'll come and get it. You'll find this food, and it's here for you. And um, I hope the Lord blesses you. I hope he blesses us through this corona virus, and it's over pretty soon. And may God bless you is my prayer until I talk to you again.